Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Nuke's top five, five scary ghost videos that will give you the heebie-jeebies. Don't know why I said it like that, but okay. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Living doll. Ooh, that's crazy. Over on the channel Spooky Links, a guy named Gerald. I hate dolls. I hate hate them so much. Investigates pretty much everything paranormal. He goes on ghost hunts, he does Ouija board sessions, and even by... Soon I'm gonna be doing ghost, ghost hunts? Yeah, like I'm gonna go to abandoned places too. It's dolls off of eBay that the original owners claim are haunted. Okay, so I did it again. I bought myself another Haunted doll, quote. Um, they've been saying that there's some kind of weird, you know, scary haunting thing going on with it. Do I believe it's actually a spirit haunting inside this doll? Um, I, probably not. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I think ghosts are, but we'll see. I think I'm a buy Test one now. the so-called haunted doll. Gerald decides to do an EVP session. Just come out and say hello. Do you know that you're dead? When he plays the recording back, things get weird. I heard some squeaks. Listen. Like it was like a weird faint. Me, me, me. Or something. I don't know. Do you know that you're dead? No, oh, yeah, I don't think. Oh. No, I ain't heard that. Is there anything you want to say to anyone? I mean, he could have just over recorded okay. it. If you notice, I have goosebumps. All over. Uh, but those goosebumps look real. Like, look. My kids' hair is like literally. Up I have so much goosebumps. Um. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm freaking out. Uh. But it gets even stranger. Gerald claims that late at night, he has started to hear what sounds like the doll moving. Test this bizarre idea. He places the doll on his floor and spreads powder all around it. The idea being that if the doll moves, the powder would be disturbed. He films the doll overnight. Oh fuck no! What did they say? I mean, it could have been a string. The time was 12.20 a.m. when I spotted movement. The camera did not record, but around five hours of footage, I had a micro microphone plugged in here, but forgot to change it in the camera thing, so there ended up not being any audio. I'm sorry. That sucks. At around 20 minutes past midnight, the doll seems to raise its head for a quick look at the camera. Ooh, Since this chills. video, Gerald has been studying and recording the doll for months, and he's caught some other truly strange occurrences. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what's supposed to be done here. I don't know how this is supposed to react. Oh, but it could be a stream. I really shouldn't just do this in the bathroom. I'm gonna... So. Did Gerald catch a haunted doll on camera, or is he just pulling our strings? You decide. I Over on this channel, Spooky Links, you can check out Gerald's weekly updates about the allegedly haunted doll and see his continuing investigations. Kind of looks like Mark, the guy who played Truth Lucifer in the and Consequences. Truth and Consequences. This next consequence. clip was sent in by Nuke's Top 5 viewer, Sarah Baranski. Now, this video is shrouded in a bit of mystery in that I just can't seem to find the original video. 
and Sarah, who submitted the video, says that she's also searched all over for the original clip with no luck. So, the story goes that apparently the woman in the video was working the overnight cleaning shift in an old empty house. She claimed that she regularly experienced absolutely terrifying paranormal encounters during her nightly shift, but no one believed her. So one night after being challenged by her friends, she went to the house, left off all the lights, and live streamed the whole thing to her friends on Snapchat. You can't go live on Snapchat. Fucking ads. I really need YouTube Premium. Right, I'm gonna go open this door now. And you see some shadows. That it's is edited me. for time. Phone in the other arm. Right. Huh? <laughs> no. What? Someone could have knocked on the door. I hate small doors like that. God. In good hiding place. Sounds like there's something in that bedroom. Sometimes it opens the door for you. Open I mean, if you're in there, can you open my door, I love please? The accent. That's the attic. Oh, uh, fuck that must have topped us there. I mean, that could have been stringing <laughs> someone behind the door. <laughs> this key. Come on, Kelly, you've been in a thousand fucking times. Come on. Oof. Wow, lots of course ones. I'm gonna go into Philip's bedroom now. Is that a dog? <laughs> what is that white shit? Oh, that's the horse. This is a long video, this one. Now I wanna go back down now. I, just I want to go back down now, seriously, in a dead twenty oh, move. Uh, um. Hello? I'm sorry for camera checking, but it's... <laughs> Big mistake, this doing this cleaning at night. Stupid mistake. Really? I would never right, clean... Right, I'm, I'm coming back to the stairs. Oh, I don't I want him, man, because she's in the house, but there you go. Uh, come on, I'm going to man up now. Well, I'm not man up, because yeah. I'm a woman. I'm going to woman up now, come on. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't think it is. Can anybody hear what I can hear? I mean, that could be anyone over Can you hear here. it, Chris? That's what sucks. You never know if it's true. That's it, that's thing. it, that's it, that's it. I don't, let me go. I mean, how we All right, just leave me alone for five count. till I get downstairs, please. Just leave me alone. Somebody's just said something to me. Who's on? Oh, I'm gonna shoot me son. What the fuck downstairs? Right. right, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, wherever you are. This isn't funny no more. This is not funny. Fuck off. Right, I've just shut door, I've just shut door. Bed, I'm gonna sit on the bed, I dare not move. Yo, I'm getting goosebumps in my head. I, I want to go down. What the shit? was that? Eileen, I hope you're hearing this and that. Anne Marie, I hope you're all fing watching this and that swearing. I can hear tapping in that cupboard. I don't know where. Oh! I don't know where to go. Don't. Right, I'm going to go on to landing. Oh. Hell no. I'm buying a haunted oh, doll. Oh. I'm not going to. Okay, right, I think I've had enough. To clean the house at night. I want to go down. I want to go. Right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna watch because I'm gonna kick the f***ing teddy back. Water's running in the bathroom. Now, everything that's taking place in the video is bizarre enough, but what happens next is downright chilling. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, I've shit it, I'm going. I'm just gonna ask the little girl that's in the little bedroom. Emma, I'm sorry for shouting, sweet. 
Will you open the door for me, please? I have just oh, I seen some. I have I just saw seen that. some. Right, that's it. I'm off down. I can't take them all. I am off frigging down. The things I do for you a lot. The woman calls out to a little girl ghost named Emma that allegedly haunts one of the rooms. No response. But there's a bang from a different bedroom, and when she turns, this. It looks like some pale figure that actually reflects the light is now standing at the doorway, but it quickly ducks back inside the room. And with this, the woman has had enough. She ends her live stream and just gets out of there. So, what do you think? Did this late night cleaner catch proof of her ghostly encounter on her Snapchat live stream? Or is it all I never just knew an elaborate hoax? Live on Snapchat. You decide. A cry from beyond. Back in the 1960s, the sad story of teenager Sylvia Likens was perhaps one of the most tragic events ever to occur in Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, I won't go into the grisly details of the case, oh. but suffice to say, Sylvia Likens met a horrible fate, sometimes imprisoned in her own home's basement. Sylvia finally lost her life, and the house remains abandoned. In this video, YouTuber Carlos Coy 135 and a friend are investigating the Indianapolis home where Sylvia met her tragic fate. Even though the pair don't notice it, things get a bit bizarre almost immediately. The house is empty, but this. This is a, this is a freaky ass house. I know, go to the Did you see it? When the video is slowed down, you can see that it looks like the curtains on the far left window oh, are pushed back, as if someone is taking a look outside. But the house is supposed to be empty. As they walk around the outside of the home, their camera catches another strange anomaly. What was the basement like? Where did it... Viewers say that it looks almost as if some misty white shape is peeking from the window and then rapidly ducks back inside. But this is when things get truly bizarre. The guys check out the basement where Sylvia Likens was imprisoned for much of her time in the house. This is the basement where the little girls torture. Dude, come here. This is freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looks like. That's f Oh, hell no. This is really serious, too. Do that, folks. That's a vicious energy. You got it. I swear to God. As they walk away from the basement window, well, just listen closely and. See what you hear. Now, some claim that they can actually hear screams for help coming from the basement. Here's the clip again with subtitles revealing what many viewers say they hear. That's why I so I tried to boost the audio by isolating certain frequencies, but since all speakers and headphones reproduce sound so differently, this may sound better or possibly worse, according to your speakers. So, does Sylvia Likens' ghost haunt this home? Or are viewers seeing and even hearing things that just aren't there? You decide. Mm. The Watcher. The Minger Hotel, built near the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas, is said to be one of the most haunted hotels in the entire U.S. Guests at the Minger claim to have witnessed and even felt a strange presence in the building's haunted hallways. I'm watching, looking at this photograph in the corner and just and all of a sudden the lighting gets dimmer and then I feel that somebody's standing behind me 
I turned, there was nobody there, but I felt this feeling of panic. Many guests have stayed in one of the rooms in this hallway, and a lot of them have reported seeing a dark figure at the end. Now, the Gomez family are certainly not ghost hunters. While visiting San Antonio, they simply decided to drop into the Meager Hotel late one night and check it out. They'd heard about all the creepy ghost stories surrounding the place and wanted to see if they might witness something paranormal for themselves. But they didn't manage to capture anything. At least that's what they thought. When they reviewed their camera footage back, they found this. I see that. It's like a, it was a guy in a black hat looking over. The person or thing watching over them from the third floor railing seems to look almost like a distorted black shadow. Not really anything human at all. But then as it turns and moves away, it looks a bit like the shape of a man the wearing a cowboy Creep hat. Creep After reviewing the video, the Gomez family were chilled by what they found. But since then, things have gotten a bit weirder. They've started having a very creepy problem with their dog, Nala. It seems that on some occasions, Nala will just freak out acting as if something is present in their house that they can't see. That is creepy. What happened? What's scaring you? Is this scaring you? This? Oui. What is it? ¿Qué es? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué, qué es? Ooh. Nala, are you she okay? Bought, they bought a ghost back home. What's scaring you? What is it? So is it possible that the bizarre watcher spirit from the Minger Hotel followed them home? Can Nala see this supernatural figure? Let me know what you think. Man's best friend. Reddit user Junior Sis says that he's experienced some odd activity since moving into his new house. He says that he, his wife, and even his young son have taken to sleepwalking, and that lights around the house just seem to flicker for no reason. Late one night, while Junior Sis and his family were asleep, his camera caught this footage of his dog, Macy. When there's something up with the dog, that's how you know it's real. What the fuck was that? Now, first off and most importantly, let me say that little Macy was not hurt. But oddly, Junior Sis says that the dog is normally calm and not skittish or jumpy at all. So he has no idea what caused this reaction. The dog doesn't even like seem to be looking at anything in strong. particular so it almost seems like something touched it. Some viewers even think that it looks like the dog could have been pulled or pushed by something yeah, that's unseen. What it looks like. Either way, little Macy took a crash into the bedroom door, but luckily was not hurt. Ooh. Francis Lincoln was taking a video of his yellow lab doing a trick. When he posted it to Facebook, he says his friend Jeff noticed something very odd in the background. Okay, boy. Come on. Come. Oh, I see it. What the hell is that? Good. It almost looks like a Barbie doll peers out of the shelf to take a look at what's going on. Now, looking at the small size of the shelf, plus the fact that it's right against a wall, makes it seem like it would be Ooh. very difficult to fake this effect, but you decide. I don't know. Thanks for watching. You can submit or suggest videos at Nukestop. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, like and subscribe. If and uh, send your skills TikToks to my right down below or Twitter. <clears throat> Excuse me, on my Twitter, and I'll see you next time. Peace.